Welcome in another episode. Today I want to demonstrate you my Unity toolbox, the asset I use in almost every single project I'm doing for the mobile development. So as currently Unity running the spring sale, so you can get any of the asset like uh, much cheaper than I bought it. So that I thought this is a very good occasion to actually show you the plugin I'm using to speed up the development time. So hopefully this video will be useful. If you have any your favorite asset, the one which I haven't listed here, please leave me comments below this video. So I would be really interested to, to see the opportunity uh, to actually buy another one, especially now because everything is much cheaper. So, okay, let's get started. So the first asset which I'm using in almost every single project is the twinning library. So the twinning library lets you animate and um, move the objects along the paths and it have very nice interpolation function. So currently this is like a 50% off of this package. So we can get this plugin for six euro, which is uh, which is I think is very cheap. So we, if you can afford it, you will definitely benefit from this package. So I'm currently in my um, in my test Unity project and I have a Dutwin installed. So let me show you the example they're providing. So the first one is with the animated cubes. So here's the demo scene and it's showing like the you can affect the rotation position and the and the color of the object. As you see everything is smooth and and nicely animated. So let me show you another one. So the examples here are very very simple, but as you see we have very nice movement along the path. And uh, I can show you what I actually using this library for. So the two very good example is one from the game I'm currently is currently in the development. So as you see, this is my game run and jump. In the background of this game, you can see these two creature, uh, one hedgehog and one flying, flying uh, like a bee, and they both moving on the scene along the path. And I'm using my twinning library to actually do that. So if I stop them now, and if I go to the hedgehog you will see that I have all of the waypoints and the path along along which the hedgehog is moving and I'm using my twinning library to do that and just it took me about I don't know two minutes to set it up so it's very it's very it's very good asset and another example which is uh, in the game I recently released is in my power matching game by the way you can find a link to this game below this video as well so I'm using my twinning library to actually do the UI animation. So as you see in the in the main menu, I bring up all of the all of the panels, and then when I go to the settings, everything is pushed, and all of the animation is executing using the twinning library. So I'm using different uh, different uh, easing function to achieve these effects, and you can do some something similar with that library. So it's very it's very good library. I really recommend it. If you haven't haven't heard about it, 90% of the project I've seen using this uh, twinning library, so it's very popular and it's very cheap now. Okay, another plugin which I wanna which I wanna bring up is the Easy Mobile Pro. So Easy Mobile Pro is uh, is plugin to let you implement the advertisement, in-app purchase, and um, like access to your mobile gallery, the pop-up with uh, with your privacy policy, the rating window. And it's uh, all of the stuff which is uh, native on your mobile device and uh, it's really speed up the development process. So you, as you see this, currently this plugin costs 35 euro. So it's very cheap and it's the original price is 70 euro. So it's like uh, half of it. I using this, I use this plugin in a few of the games and it's really boost up the development time. So I will show you the demo scene which they providing. So as you see, this is the, uh, the Easy Mobile Pro demo scene. This plugin supports ads, game services, in-app purchases, notification, native APIs, GIF. You can create GIF from your game. Uh, you can share it. You have some utilities and a privacy policy as well. So all of this, all of this stuff will be available for you. And there is like once you install the plugin, you will have the windows in the window under the windows menu. You will have the Easy Mobile and from here you can you can just enable specific stuff and they have very nice documentation and examples which you can follow 
So I really recommend this plugin if you if you doing development on the mobile devices. It supports both Android and the iOS, so it's uh, cross platform, and. I can tell from my experience it's really speed up the development time and the testing of the app is much simpler. Simpler. Another asset I really like is the Pro 2D camera. camera. So if you're doing the 2D development, this camera will let you. This plugin will let you do the. Will let you do the uh, some special effect with your cameras. And it's currently only 17 euro to 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 purchase it. And I use it in a few of the games, and this plugin lets you let you do some cinematics, the content filter from the camera, so you, your game content will fit in any of the resolution. So as you see, they're providing some uh, some nice examples. So here's the first example, and the camera is just follow the player without without any implementation. It's just drag and drop in the editor. Another thing you can do is the cinematics. As you see, I can start the cinematics and it's very nicely present the the cinematics. It's just playing the cinematics in the scene and going back. So it's very nice effect. If you want to implement it in your game, it's just it's just simple, just uh, drag and drop stuff. So you have also the content filter, the dolly camera. So let me just show you this. As you see, you can you can play different effect on the camera. You can change the zoom amount. You can change the duration. You can you can manipulate a lot of a lot of settings. It's very nice effect, and uh, is uh, this plugin is really give you a lot of a lot of stuff. So the the, the most the most stuff I, I I think I found using this plugin is the content filter. So the content filter lets you scale down and scale up your scene to fit on any resolution on any device. And speaking on multiple devices on the uh, for the mobile development, there is one plugin which is extremely useful, which I actually purchased um, purchased yesterday, and uh, I found it like is uh, probably going to benefit me a lot. This is the Universal Device Preview, and it's currently for the just twenty euro, so it's just half of the price. And this plugin lets you screenshot your game for the Google Play Store, for the iOS Store, and for any device type, and lets you output your game to see if. If the content is fitting perfectly on any of the resolution, so I can quickly demonstrate to you what is um, how this how this looks. So here is uh, let's let's quickly just um, go to the tool window and then almost engine, and then I have this uh, device gallery. I bring this window up, and as you see, I have uh, multiple devices. And I can see straight away the content for these devices. And let me just go to the settings and just disable this. Okay, so as you see, I have uh, multiple devices displayed and it's showing my scene, the currently the camera view, and I can just see how my game is looks on multiple, on different different resolution. You have to, like different resolution below, and I. During the development time, I can I can actually make sure my game will looks fine on any resolution, the most common resolution which the player will use. So you can uh, of course change the devices, change the dev device list. They have the providing you with the standard devices, but you can you can actually change it in the settings. So as you see in the settings, I have uh, some some devices specified here, and then. I can actually just change the collection that they're providing a lot of like for the Apple Store, for the Google Play Store, you can you can actually just select different device type, let's say Sony Xperia. And once you've done it, you go to back to the gallery, you can update preview, and it's just gonna screenshot your game to all of the all of the devices. And here is the Sony Xperia. So I think this this plugin is very useful and then if you want to post your uh, your game on any of the social media, you can export to the file, and uh, every single this device will be will be exported to the to the PNG, and you can just upload it on the Instagram, on your website, or directly to the Google Play Store. So this this plugin is extremely useful, really recommend it. I have, didn't have much time to play with it, but I will definitely do another plugin which is which is extremely useful. It maybe doesn't seem like for the first time when you when you start this plugin, it's like actually extension to the editor to the Unity editor. 
So this plugin is called the, the Odin plugin, the Odin editor. So here it is. The Odin editor, as you see, is currently very cheap now, 24 euro. If you can afford it, I recommend it. But before you purchase, just to go through the, all of these videos and then make sure it just suit your, uh, suit your needs. Because the worst thing you can do, you can uh, you can buy something and then never use it. So if you if you feel like you need this plugin, you can uh, I will definitely recommend you. So let me just run the few examples from that plugin as well. This plugin will not output uh, the, the example from this plugin will not output anything on the on the scene. It's just showing you because this is the editor extension. So it's just um, you can look at the inspector window and see how different things can be displayed. So we can create the tabs. You can create the custom pop-up windows in the editor with implementation. They're providing some player inventory in the scriptable object. So as you see, this is just the simple array which is displayed and you can place the different elements in it. So this is like a simple example of the of the inventory for the, for the character. And as you see, you can switch, you have some tabs, you can select the picture and then press select and uh, it's very easy to use and it's very just giving you a lot. So one example I can give you from my own per own experience is in my in my nonogram game. So this is my nonogram game, which is currently in the development as well. And uh, I have implemented some of the uh, some of the scriptable object to hold the data of the nonogram, and it let me actually output the picture very nicely. So I have just outputted the simple array with the with the boolean. And uh, the color so you can specify the color here and then when I press on the array I can actually draw so this is very very nice um, very nice way to actually design your data in the game other than pl playing with the with the raw arrays so this is like this let me speed up some of my development process by creating the data for the game and I'm using the Odin plugin to actually display this one in the editor and then once it's, once it's done, it's just going to be serialized. So another example is like a 10 by 10. And I have some example from the, from the view. So as you see, this is much larger picture. And I have my car as well. So by using this plugin, I can, I can drawing so very custom pictures and then put in, the, in my game. So I found this plugin to be very useful. And uh, I really recommend you if you if you feel the need to just go through the, all of the videos they're providing, all of the documentation, and just see what it's exactly doing. So this is one of the plugins from my toolbox. And the last plugin which I want to demonstrate to you is actually free. This is the Sun Template plugin, and uh, this is like um, this plugin give you give you the the build scene, the build city, and uh, providing you with all of the models, all of the animations for it. And uh, this plugin is def is free and is definitely worth to look at because it's like the scene is beautiful and you can uh, actually just straight away start doing the game with it. So let me just show you. Okay, so as you see, this is the demo scene with they providing, and all of the all of the effects, all of the all of the buildings and all of the models are actually for free for you to use. So I think this plugin is really a steal because they don't they don't want any any cash from you. They just giving you just free models and free scene to to work in. And uh, if you want to do the 3D game, like a first person shooter or or any any type of the game which using the 3D models, I think this plugin is really is really worth to look at. And uh, it's free, so why not to add it to your toolbox? So. I hope this uh, this video was helpful for you. And as I said, Unity is um, is currently running the the spring sale, so all of the plugins is much cheap, are much cheaper now. So if you feel a need to buy any of it, go ahead and do so. This is the best time to do it. But if you don't, then don't buy it because the worst thing you can do is you can buy something and never use it. So it's just gonna lose of the money. But if you buy any of this. If you purchase any of this plugin, please just go through all of the documentation and uh, and all of the future they're providing. Because the, the the bad thing is to actually purchase something and then don't use it in the full potential. Anything which can speed up our development time is worth to look at because that what all about that what is all about. 
is about the productivity. So if you have any any other recommendation for the plugin you, you are using or you, you are thinking to buying, please let me know in the video, uh, in the in the comments below this video. If you did not subscribe to this channel yet, please consider to do so. You can hit the subscribe button below. And um, if you like this video, leave, leave me the thumbs up. So that's it what I have, uh, have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.